before I start this video on these two things for the uh, Galaxy Note 3 here, I want to go ahead and give a quick shout out to my uh, Instagram followers for blowing up my notifications. It only gets to a certain point and then it doesn't tell me anything more. So I miss a lot of comments. Like people will comment on this picture of Xenomax and I will totally miss their comment. So uh, if I don't reply back to you, please don't be offended. It's just I get a lot of notifications. All right, so we have our Galaxy Note 3 here, and we've got two products from Anchor that we're going to do a video on today. We've got a rechargeable battery, which is a 3200 milliamp hour battery, same exact size that comes with the Note 3. The benefit of that is, of course, you have a second battery if you get a separate charger. I don't know if Anchor makes one yet, but if they do, you'll be able to buy a separate charger and charge those batteries outside of your phone. So you won't even have to, you know, worry about putting the battery in your phone, charging it, and then putting the other one in your phone and charging that one as well. We also have a case that we're going to put on our Galaxy Note 3, which this will actually be my very first case. So my Galaxy Note 3 and my uh, Nexus 5 are both unprotected. I actually have some more, I have some cases right now that I got to do a video on very soon for the Nexus 5, so I'm pretty excited about that. So let's get started. First off, I guess we'll go ahead and start with the battery, considering the fact that you can uh, put the case around the battery, so you need to do the battery first. Something else is in here. All right, we'll set that to the side here. And then we have our Galaxy Note 3 battery. So we need to go ahead and open this up. As you can see, we are dealing with 3200 milliamp hours. It says 12.16 watt hours, voltage 3.8 volts, compatible model Samsung Galaxy Note 3. It does have some little plastic stuff around it. So give me just a second to peel that off. <laughs> Alright, so after a little bit of uh, picking away at the plastic, I was able to get it off. Now the battery should work just fine in our Galaxy Note 3. So, we'll go ahead and turn this thing off. Man, as you can see, my freaking Twitter, my Instagram, and I'm always getting notifications. I love it. I absolutely love it. I really do. While it's powering off, we can go ahead and pop the case off, the back off of it. And then, uh, I took my SIM card out because my SIM card is currently in my unlocked 32 gig Nexus 5 from the Google Play Store and it's on Sprint's network right now So I'm gonna get a T-Mobile because uh, th we put we got the $30 T-Mobile plan for my wife's phone Which is prepaid you get unlimited data and you get like, you know, anyways, it's $30 a month So we're just gonna go ahead and pop the battery off here And then I'm gonna cover up my phone information and then I'm gonna take this battery I'm just gonna match the little prongs up like such pop that in there and we're gonna put the back on it I love how quick that snaps on. The Note 2 back took a good second to properly get the back on it. And then now we're dealing with the case here, so let's go ahead and open this up and just put that on the phone to show you what it looks like and then in the video, because I'm trying not to make this too long. So we've got stuff in here, returns, exchanges. we got some poison for your friend. No, I'm just kidding. So, in here you got some cards, so like you can carry your license and your debit card and whatever you need to carry in there. And then it looks like your phone just goes in like such. And then there you have it. So you just close it. It's a magnetic, so it latches down. As you can see, as soon as the magnet detects that it's there. Come on. It did earlier. Oh, come on. There you go. And on the back you can see you still have access to your camera. Dude, you could so use that. Like you could... You could have it like this and be recording somebody and they have no clue. That's evil. Or you could be like this and take a picture of them. Like, I guess if you set the uh, timer, like if you press the button, you close it, set the timer, and then like you wait, you know, five, ten seconds and it takes the picture. That's pretty evil. But you have a fully protected Galaxy Note 3 front and back. The camera's protected. When you lay it down, it's not going to get the camera. Like the camera's not going to get messed up because it's not actually touching the table. And the screen isn't either, so you want to use your phone, you just flip this out, spin it over, and then you can just use your phone real quick, take your S Pen out, which is a little bit, uh, like, you're not gonna, you're gonna have to pull this out to get to your S Pen, which, honestly, I can count on one hand how many times I've pulled my S Pen out since I've owned my Galaxy Note 3. I just, I forget it's there, I don't, I try not to get used to a certain phone, that way, like, oh, my uh, my Nexus doesn't have an S Pen, or my Nexus doesn't have this touch stuff, like, with the S Pen, so. 
I'm one of those people that refuses to like get stuck with like with HTC's Sense UI or Samsung's TouchWiz UI or Motorola's Moto Blur UI. I try not to get stuck on one UI and that way I can move over to a Nexus device and not be like, you know, ah, I miss all these features that I had on my other phone. So getting the phone out phone out is actually pretty easy. Just lift on the side here, comes out, and like such. Pretty easy. Oh, okay, cool. I did not even know this until just now. I'm glad I uh, discovered this while recording. So apparently, the phone can be used like this. You could like watch a Netflix video or watch a YouTube video or do a front-facing webcam video like on Skype or Google Hangouts or whatever you need to do because your phone's like that and you're enjoying a movie. So that's pretty freaking dope. I like it. It's still, the S Pen's still a little bit, like, hard to get to, but, you know, it is what it is. People like me never, ever, ever use it. If you do use your S Pen, just take a second to pull the phone out, pull your S Pen out. See, I don't even, I never pull mine out. Put it back in there. Slap, slash it down. There you go. That's it. That's all there is to it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. In the description, there'll be a little thing you need to click on. It says show more and it'll expand the entire description and you can see all the links. I'll post links to my Twitter so you can follow me if you'd like to. My Facebook if you'd like to like my page. Uh, my Google Plus page if you want a plus one or circle that or do both. It's completely up to you. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, Instagram, man. That's where we're at 24-7 just like Flossie Carter. So... If you're new here, please don't leave this video without hitting that red subscribe button below. Thank you to everybody for watching this video. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.